All right, guys, we're not fishing today. We got something else a little different. We run across this salvage boat, and so we decided to buy it and to redo it. We're going to redo it on a budget. So we're putting back carpet. The front deck was rotten, and the floor was rotten. I'm going to show you a quick glimpse. This is with everything kind of thrown in here, what it looks like. I got a few photos I took when I first tore the floor up. I'm going to throw them in here so you can see them. Put a new radio in, worked on the motor, got it running. We were very blessed. Just a uh, blown fuse was all it needed in a new ignition. So we put that in, got the motor to fire up. Now we're going to put the floors back in it. And we're going to go fishing in this thing. Stay tuned. I'm going to kind of drop you in and out so you can see the progress. Thank you all for watching. All right, guys, sorry about the loud music, but uh, got my hole saw, getting ready to drill the hole for the pedestal seat to be installed. So here we go. Hope I measured right. So I got the hole cut out for the pedestal seat. I'm going to cut the bolts off because they're a tad too long and they'll be sticking down into a compartment, a storage compartment. So I'm going to get ready to put some carpet on it next. Got the deck put in, got the carpet cut and put on the the wood with the glue um we bought some screws from lowe's they said there was a hundred but somebody had stole some so there ain't but like 30 in it so we're gonna have to get some more screws we're getting ready to start and put the the floor in we're gonna carpet it put some glue on it uh, my reinforcements have showed up <laughs> it's cold out here guys all right we made good strides today we got the deck in, we got the floor in. Tomorrow, or I hope, get the console back in, um, get the rod locker back together. I'm gonna get the seats put in and uh, finish putting all the trim in. I got uh, one speaker hole cut out and I cut out another one. I've made really good progress today. So maybe, maybe in a week or two, I'll be fishing on this thing. But I'm gonna work on the lights for a minute. I'm gonna put some LED blue lights on it for when we go bow fishing. I'm gonna do that now and I'm gonna call it a day. Y'all stay tuned. Gonna see this thing finished and we're gonna be fishing in it soon. All right guys, we put our platform in for the seat and we're going to put the new the old seats back in i put a new bottom on them they were rotten and this one i had to put a new back in because it was rotten but that's what we're getting ready to do right now we've got the hinges where the seats will fold forward all right all right guys just got the seats installed these are the original seats that came with it i did buy new seats for the pedestals so this is you fold this up you put stuff in it it's just regular storage we got the controls back mounted and the console back mounted so now we're ready to um we're gluing some other things i'm gonna redo the um rod holder because it's come loose so that's what i'm gonna do right now all right guys really starting to look like a bass boat again got a few more things to do i'm gonna go work on the hood right now for the engine but it's really starting to come together. Won't be long. This thing will be on the water. Hey guys, I don't even know what day it is anymore, but we've been working on it pretty steady every chance we got. I got all the lights put in. It's gonna look better at night. The LED lights, got them all over the boat. Got majority of the boat put back together. Got some new seats. Got the radio put in. Don't own any rights to the music, just playing music. Get ready today to um, cut another speaker hole and get the dash put back together. I took all the dash off and painted it. So, time to get to work. All right, we're still working on the boat today. All right, we're working on the boat. We got the 
hub took off we're going to replace the bearings got the kits right here we're going to um, make some fenders we're going to make some fenders out of a 55, 55 gallon drum we have already cut them so we're going to make the fenders out of this 55 gallon drum that we cut try to save some money you know i'm doing everything on a budget all right guys today's the day finally got it finished got all the decals put on it i'm gonna give you a quick walk around of the boat before we put it in make sure that everything is on the up and up Here's the boat. Pretty good for coming from somebody's trash to somebody's treasure. First trip of the, with the boat. 